this cruise ship is basically a floating city. And just like in a normal city, all its residents produce a lot of trash. But there aren't any garbage trucks here to scoop it up and take it away. We're at sea, obviously. All this new tech was built into Royal Caribbean's largest and newest ship, Symphony of the Seas. The company says it's a zero landfill ship, which means it uses everything from recycling to water filtration to deal with its own waste. And this guy is in charge of making sure no single water bottle is unaccounted for. Welcome to Waste and Recycling Center. We're down on deck two, a secret crew only area of the ship. Crew members check all the ship's trash cans for recyclables and bring them down here for Alex's team to handle. Despite being the only waste facility on this massive ship, it's surprisingly quiet. Alex said the busiest time is in the morning. Crew members separate glass into colors, green, brown, and white. See, this is the byproduct of it after we crush it. They can process upwards of 13,000 pounds of glass for a week-long cruise. All the small glass pieces are stored in bins until the ship docks. Plastic goes through this massive compactor. Even though the ship's gotten rid of plastic straws, it still relies on bottled water. Because for health and safety reasons, no cruise ship is allowed to have water fountains. So every week, they crush about 528 gallons of water bottles. We are compacting the cardboard over there. Throughout the day, cardboard is stacked up in this machine, called a baler. Once it's full, it's all compressed into bundles. And used aluminum cans, well, they're sent through this baler. The machine squeezes them down into big cubes which are then stored in a fridge just off the waste room. This area is actually for the items that can produce smell, the garbage. And that smell could get pretty bad. The waste is stored for up to seven days at a time, until the ship docks back in Miami, where all the plastic, aluminum, paper, and glass go to recycling partner facilities. In 2018, Royal Caribbean recycled 43.7 million pounds of waste. And any rebates earned from these recycling programs go back to the Employee Retirement Fund. The cruise line is hoping that it's a nice incentive for employees to bring recycling down from their own crew cabins. So what about things that can't get recycled? For example, food. Every week, the ship loads up 600,000 pounds of provisions. But for the food that's not eaten, well, the company had to figure out how to get rid of all of that, too. Each one of the ship's restaurants and 36 kitchens has its own suction drain. Chefs and waiters keep food scraps in separate buckets. Then, once they've gotten enough, they place it all in this special drain. All the food waste ends up in one big pipe that runs through the entire ship. And that pipe leads to what's known as the hydro processor. Those pipes over there, so these were the food waste is passing through. This is being uh, processed through here. This machine has a bunch of tiny layers of mesh to break down the food. It's being stored in our tank. We have two tanks of comminuted food waste. 